The shutdowns and rising numbers. We did get some encouraging news in the race for a COVID vaccine. Moderna announced that its vaccine appears to be almost 95% effective in preliminary analysis. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez has more. There are now two COVID vaccines that have reported preliminary effectiveness results in the 90% plus range. Both the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines are based on a never before used genetic platform that has so far seemed safe and very effective. But experts caution, we still have a ways to go before we can tame the pandemic. The Moderna results come from an interim analysis from its phase three 30,000 volunteer clinical trial. An independent monitoring board broke the code on the 95 infections in Moderna's trial and found that all but five of the illnesses were in participants that got the placebo injections. Even more encouraging, the 11 severe COVID cases were also in placebo recipients. But because these and Pfizer's results have yet to be published in peer-reviewed journals, public health experts are still cautious. There are many, many questions still remaining about the duration of protection, the impact on severe disease, the impact on different subpopulations, especially the elderly, as well as the adverse events beyond a certain period of time. Distribution challenges also remain. Pfizer's vaccine must be kept at far sub-zero temperatures, while Moderna's can be stored at standard freezer temps and appears to be stable for up to a month with conventional refrigeration. Both Moderna and Pfizer expect to apply for an FDA emergency use authorization by the end of the month. Moderna expects to have 20 million doses for the U.S. by the end of the year, while Pfizer will have 50 million. Both require two doses to achieve immunity, and neither vaccine will stop the pandemic alone. It will take both those and likely others that are in late-stage clinical trials. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.